hello and welcome back and today I want to continue talking about WD Red. We did a video a little while ago, I think it was just under a week now, where we were talking about revelations that have been taking place over the last few months that WD have now responded to with regard to shingle magnetic recording or SMR being utilized on a number of their NAS based drives and a lot of you like me have said for a very long time that SMR isn't really something we should utilize in the world of NAS. It has a certain place uh, uh, in terms of archiving and cold storage but really in NAS we've never really agreed with it as a concept but there are different kinds and I have to admit just like a number of you out there it isn't quite as black and white as that and although some of the information in today's video is based on WD's own press statements that I will have on screen and you can link to in the description I'm going to talk a little bit about what they've been saying and ultimately translating what they've been saying in their press releases and presenting that to you for your opinion we're not going to express on this it's because there's a lot more to it and there's a lot of evidence on either side for us to be working with and ultimately the original you know pain of that first art, uh, video was largely based around the idea about this information not being present on spreadsheets so before i go any further can you hear those noises in the background there's a hum there's whizzing, there's all kind of stuff. I'm still working on some rack mount content here in the studio that's going to be going live in the next couple of weeks. And unfortunately, because of self-isolation, COVID and stuff like that, I'm in quite a close-knit area. Consequently, there is background noise that I'm just having a real nightmare removing. So if you can hear that in the background, I do apologise. But let's proceed. So, um, in the recent uh, updates from WD that are featured in the links in the description... They presented a few things. Firstly, they started listing which ones of their drives did feature um, one form of SMR. In their case, DMSMR, which is Drive Managed Shingled Magnetic Recording. And they also uh, listed which ones of their drives uh, supported SMR, or Conventional Magnetic Recording, otherwise known as PMR, as we mentioned in the previous video, Perpendicular Magnetic Recording. And what that is, uh, traditional drives on the platter, you have lines where all the data are going to live on all of the platters going round, and data is written into them and read from them. In the case of SMR, these layers overlap, and that overlap there is kind of the where a lot of people have got a bit of a problem here and something that WD should have told people. The result being that with drive managed SMR, when you've got data being written to these drives, SMR is supposed to take some time to work out what's going on on the platters and move data around. And drive managed SMR is indeed better than host managed SMR, which is what they've been highlighting in their statements. Host managed SMR, as the title suggests, is when this process of drive management is done by the system, not the drives. And it is better. There's no arguing, but it is better to be done on the drives overall. What that means is, um, as WD mentioned in their statement, that when um, SMR uh, drives are being utilized in a home smaller environment. So these are drives that are generally going to be based on uh, small, media, um, small business SMB and home users. You're not going to be hitting that drive constantly 24-7 in a real active aggressive way. You're going to be utilizing it periodically, sporadically. And there will be generally larger periods of idle than there will be of access. And it's in those idle periods where drive managed SMR is, you know, I'm not going to say advantageous, but I am going to say does have its utility. Because in these environments, those moments of idle, not raw access time is when the drive management of shingle magnetic recording can come into play. It can move data around. Data is being written onto free tracks and then the system can then sort it out on those platters more efficiently and that's how uh, the SMR uh, so the DM SMR drives that we saw and we've done some speed testing and some videos going live do show that the reported speed increase on the uh, WD red drives that do feature drive manage SMR uh, the reported speed on spec sheets from WD being 180 megabytes per second compared with 150 megabytes per second on the older non-DMSMR generation drives, it is present. That speed, and when we were doing, uh, again, the video should go live very, very soon, we've been doing RAID and RAID rebuild testing on older and newer gen 
WD Red 4TBs on both QNAP and Synology NASes, we have seen that in, in the RAID building, those SMR drives did perform better and did build quicker. But that's only one test of many, and we're doing loads more after that. Now, what can we know moving forward? Well, WD, if I haven't already put it on screen, I'll put it on screen right now. They did show a list of two things. One, a list of the drives that feature conventional magnetic recording and shingle magnetic recording and highlighted specifically the model IDs of drives that do feature drives managed SMR, which fair play to them. They have brought that to the attention. They brought it very late to the party and they should have told everyone early doors and bunged it on that spec sheet, which is a real problem for a number of us. But it is good that they've brought forward and shown you which of the drives do feature drive managed SMR. Now, <clears throat> they've always said that you shouldn't be utilizing high density drives. Um, you shouldn't be using non high density drives in a high density environment. That's why they brought out the Pro and the non Pro series. But they really did focus on the number of bays to keep it simple rather than the broader idea of access and drive behavior because smr drives dm smr or otherwise utilized in a high impact high utilization environment probably aren't suitable when you think about needing that idle time for the drive management <coughs> to move stuff around and get everything sorted out you know high density 24 7 utilization there is no idle time and that's why those drives are not sufficient now well, this is where we go on to the non-WD portion of the video. Because despite WD's statement and despite everything they've been saying, people do still find and have been reporting online their own RAID scenario saying, well, here's some sustained read-write performance and non-sustained read-write performance, and it doesn't quite match up. Now, there are so many variables from the NASs they use to the factors of the data that they are creating and destroying and creating sustained over days, weeks, and months. So WD are saying to those people, if you do have reported problems, tell us, and we will look at that and see what we can do and work with you on that, which is nice, but at the same time, it's what you would expect any brand to say. But nevertheless, this is where we are right now on this. There are updates coming from WD as well as other sources, and we are speaking with WD about this constantly. And as I say, we do have a whole bunch of content coming out very, very soon where we are testing uh, the DMSMR and non-DMSMR drives from the WD range to show if there are any quibbles there. So do us a favor in the comments below. At the moment, we are testing RAID times, we're testing RAID rebuild, and sustained read-write over a period of time where we can look at the logs and see if there's been any degradation over time. We're going to try and run this over the next few days and present those reports to you. But if you've got any other ideas of stuff that you think we should be testing for on these drives for your sake and everyone else's, do let me know in the comments, and we'll try to include those tests in are arrays now the more detail you give the better tests we can do and the more popular tests are obviously going to get done first because you guys want to get this done as quickly as possible so do let me know but otherwise thank you so much for watching i'll update you on this as much as i can visit the links in the description click like if you've enjoyed this click subscribe to learn more and i'll see you next time